YouTube, what's up? Season three is now here. New map, which means also new graphic settings. A whole bunch of you guys have been asking me, Finn, what do I need to have? And especially if you guys are on a PC, well, these graphic settings are gonna be for you. We also have those NVIDIA filters so you can make your gameplay just a little bit more spicy. Let's get right into it. First things first, we're gonna have all the graphic settings right here, right now. This is what I'm using. And I actually did play around with the NVIDIA DLSS setting and I'm gonna kind of go through that as well. But first, let me just kind of show you guys what I'm using. Uh, I'm rocking the 2080 Ti, 144 hertz. Um, I have, you know, a 2560 by 1440 monitor, AKA 1440p, um, all this stuff, leave this, leave this the same. Um, custom menu frame rate limit and out of focus frame rate limit. I leave those at 60 just because. Uh, and then of, of course, gameplay, I limit it to 144 because, you know, my monitor is 144. You can limit that even more if you want. NVIDIA highlights, I have that enabled. That's like if you use the NVIDIA, like uh, the, I think, Shadow Play or something. Reflex low latency. I've seen this work if you have a Ryzen system. This works if you use it on enabled or enabled plus boost. I don't have a Ryzen for this PC yet, so I don't have this one turned on. But uh, you may want to turn that on. Also, speaking of Ryzen systems, make sure, well, actually for both Intel and Ryzen, make sure that your RAM is set to XMP or DOCP. And the better RAM that you can get, well, the better your game's gonna run with a lot higher frames. It's gonna be a lot more stable. The RAM that I would recommend is at least BDI if you can uh, get it. Sometimes it's a little bit hard to find. BDI is classified as 3200 speed CL14. 3200 C14. CL14 is of course the latency. Gamma is, I guess, just S sRGB. Streaming quality is set to uh, normal. Texture resolution. I used to have this on very low. Now I have it on low and I haven't really experienced too much of a negative impact and the game just looks a little bit more HD. Of course, the higher that you turn this up, well, you're going to have a little bit uh, tougher time to have those nice, uh, nice high frames. Pretty much everything else here, as you guys can see, is either low or disabled, low or off. That's just how I have it. Um, I mean, obviously your mileage may vary, but this is very, very similar to what we had last time. I'm gonna kind of just kind of blow through these as fast as possible, just so that you guys can make sure that you have all of your settings good to go. Filmic strength, I have it set to one. It, it kind of gives you an option there. And the reason why I have mine set to one is because I have my uh, anti-aliasing off. I actually tried this. So if you have trouble with your current system to, to get it to a certain frame rate, AKA, Let's say you're getting only like 120 frames or something. You can enable this and it might help you. So 2K gameplay is 1440p. I changed mine to quality as they recommended, but then I had to have my anti-aliasing turned to a specific setting. It made the game look blurry for me. Now, it may look different for you, but for me, I didn't like that look and I didn't notice any difference. So I turned it off. But if your PC struggles with frames, you might wanna make sure to give one of these a try. Of course, it gives all the little options on the right-hand side. Um, again, qualities for 1440p performance. That's if you're rocking, you know, 4k and then balanced is, I guess, kind of a blend of both. You probably might want to try that for 1080p, but I don't really think you're going to be using this if you're at 1080p because I mean, well, 1080p is not really too difficult to drive anymore. Anti-aliasing, I run that off, but of course, if you guys don't like that look, if you like that little bit more of the kind of like a smooth, it looked to me, it looks kind of washy or cloudy, but some other people really like that smooth cinematic look make sure that this is turned on at least to a certain point um everything else you guys can see here is disabled off zero dynamic resolution frame rate target uh, i don't believe mine's enabled so it doesn't really matter let's go back into all the settings here mouse sensitivity of course is 3.77 my in-game dpi is i believe 1200 i've been playing at this for quite some time some people say it's a bit high some people say it's a bit low i think it's right for me if anything i might change mine to make it even a little bit lower Depends on if I get a lighter mouse than this one, but for right now, this is what I'm using. Um, your ADS mouse sensitivity, for, for at least for me, I have it on relative that makes it a little bit easier. Um, and then all this stuff is right here. I haven't changed the, those at all. I don't play inverted, that's for strange gamers. And if you play inverted, well, good for you. You're, that, that's that's, that's, that's kind of weird. But anyway, I, I can't play inverted. Um, anyway, so that's that's all good to go. Um, movement, you guys can see all here. You can just copy all my sort of uh, settings if you guys want to. I have automatic tactical sprint turned on. You can actually turn it to automatic sprint if you would like to as well. Um, there's you know a different a few different things that you can do. Uh, a lot of people have been asking about the whole W sign behind me. That's because the move forward key is the W key. That's right, always moving forward, ladies and gentlemen. Okay, and then you guys can see auto move forward. So this is like an auto run. So I have mine set to equal or the plus key. Um, and then all these other settings right here, again, I'm just going to kind of go through these as fast as possible. I don't have anything else for there. I don't have anything else for there. 
gesture and sprays. This is for like if you're trying to do like one of those or like a like one of those salute things. You can use I, I, you have this key for that. Um, and then yep, so that's all that. All right, weapons and equipment. I'm just gonna kind of scroll through this weapon mount oct activation. All these good things here. Melee finishing move. That's to toggle my zoom. So if I have like a different uh, if I have a zoom scope or if I have a, a variable scope, like a hybrid scope. All right, gonna keep scrolling. Okay, that's everything for here. I have my weapon mount set to my mouse. I have one and two set to switching my weapons. Okay. Weapon mount, also my mouse button, alternate fire. This is for changing from uh, single fire to fully automatic. I put it all the way to the right so I don't accidentally bump into it. Night vision goggles. I mean, we don't really have those yet. Okay. That's all that. All right, good. Kill streaks and vehicles. We don't really use this one, but I mean, it's here if you guys want to see it. Again, I'm just going to kind of boom. You can screenshot that if you want. Boom, you can screenshot it if you want. Boom, there's another one. We don't really use, we don't really change these ones too much, really. So this is all, this is all the same. Overlays and shortcuts. You know, if you want these, boom, go ahead and screenshot that. And boom, done. Okay. Menu navigation, again, these are just, this is all like admin stuff. This is, this is not for like the game. Okay. Um, this is my general settings. This is my field of view. This is very important. So field of view is 120. You want your ADS field of view to be affected. You want it. Uh, trust me. It helps with recoil control. Use this setting. You need to use this setting. This is one of the most important settings. When I see why people aren't aiming properly, that's usually because they have this set to independent. Don't have it set there. I have it set to affected. Affected is good. Okay. Brightness. I have mine sl slightly turned up. This one's supposed to be barely visible, but you know, Rose is hiding in the corners. I have it turned up a little bit. Um, everything else here is pretty much all the standard, all the same. Mini map shape. You want that square. Square gives you bigger. It's like a bigger pizza. Bigger pizza is better because more is more. Okay. Mini map rotations enabled. You got letters, text chat, propanity filter, all this stuff. And I, this is how you can have the, the, these things on, on the upper left, your FPS counter, ser server latency, you can have all that stuff. You, like, I can turn this off. You have GPU time, I guess that's your, uh, like your latency or something. I don't know. Okay. Audio. I use midnight mode. Uh, I, why do I use midnight mode? Well, because then it, everything's a little bit softer, but more detailed, and then I can crank my volume up. It's one of those. For me, it works. Other people are probably using boost low. So... Pick whichever one you want. I have all this stuff turned down. They have new music in the game right now. That's why I have it turned up slightly, but I usually have this around four. Dialogue is also really, really, really down low as well. Uh, that way I can actually hear what's going on in the game. I would highly recommend to do this, if, especially if you guys have trouble hearing footsteps. Uh, and this is just more admin stuff, you know, like voice chat volume, microphone volume. This one doesn't really matter as much. War tracks. So if you stream, I have this disabled because obviously music, copyright issues. So I have that turned off. Uh, controller, I don't play a controller, so don't even look at this, but yeah, just don't. Uh, and that's basically it, guys. I mean, that's all the settings uh, for this. Now, let me go straight into the GeForce Experience. So you actually have to download this app called GeForce Experience. Uh, I, I, I don't remember. I think it's called GeForce. I, anyway, um, I th believe it's called GeForce Experience. So here's the game filters. I'm going to show you guys what I have for the game filters. I've actually changed these to have slightly more sharpening now. You can turn down the sharpening if it's too like grainy for you, but for me, it looks pretty good. So sharpening is 100. Ignore fill grains at 100. Here's for all the color. Tint is 0. Tint intensity is 0. Temperature is 0. Vibrance is 40. Temperature is 0. Make sure you don't set it to negative. Make sure you keep it at 0. Okay, and then uh, brightness and contrast. Here we go. Exposure, negative 12. Contrast, 30. Highlights, 20. Shadows, negative 16. And gamma is 16. Again, make sure you guys don't slide these too far to the left or right. Okay. Screenshot the top, middle, and bottom. Boom, done. You just say go add filter, and it's really simple, really simple to add. And then make sure, you, you know, if you want to make any changes, you can always change your keybind for it as well. For me, my keybind is different. It's going to be different from yours. My keybind is Alt C or Alt Z, something like that. Um, so, anyway, you can al always change this. This is part of the NVIDIA graphics card that you guys have that directly links into there. Now, when you do have game filters on, you will have a slight FPS hit of about, I'd say, 10 to 15%. So make sure you have enough overhead. If you're already struggling with FPS, make sure you have DLSS turned on. And if you're still struggling with FPS, don't use the filters. I mean, I don't know if it's really worth it. It's, it's more for, like, making your game look really cool 
And if you have that extra headroom or that bandwidth, okay, then go ahead. Well, folks, that's all my settings. I know that our previous settings video did very, very well. You guys used it as a guide. I hope you guys can use this one as a guide. Hope you guys can share this one. Make sure you guys smash the follow button. Wait, no, that's the wrong one. Make sure you guys smash the like button. Remember that a like a day keeps the algorithm happy. Also, make sure to leave a comment down below if you guys got any sort of questions or, you know, you just want to say hi, and I'll do my best to heart or reply. And so Thanks, guys.